Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a first impressions look at Capcom's upcoming game with Street Fighter VI Open Beta. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. When I first found out that Capcom Street Fighter VI was in the works, I was excited to see the triumphant return loving Street Fighter V with my good old Sega Saturn pad for the PC. I couldn't wait, but had my reservations with the new direction the game was taking with its new game hub, customizable characters, and seemingly something very different and the same in this installment. With the demo only featuring Ryu and Ken, I was looking forward to see what was new in this fighting brand that made it so famous. Street Fighter Open Beta was released to the public for one weekend from May 19th through the 21st on the PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox Series X and S, and on Steam on PC. This open beta covers basically what was in a closed beta and offers 8 characters to choose from featuring classics from Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Guile, and Jury, with newcomers like Luke, Jamie, and Kimberly that completes the first look roster. The modes that were offered and able to try was the main battle hub that consists of ranked matches, open tournaments, battle hub matches training mode, and extreme battle. You are able to look up a friend by using a profile number that is given to you once you sign up with a Capcom ID that is needed to play online. You create your profile and customize your avatar. Capcom also gives you their game currency so that you can change your look of the avatar and their clothes as well. It's a very nice touch but limited, but what was offered still gives you a hint of what's to come. Traveling around the battle hub was fun, but definitely had lag as I was following a friend as they disappeared and reappeared as well as running into walls that was hard to follow. We spoke online and described where we were headed to avoid getting lost. Not a big disappointment here, but definitely a bit glitchy. Other modes offered was an arcade classics area where you could play classic Capcom games from Final Fight, Magic Sword, and Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It was a nice addition and hope they really keep this up as it was fun to see old classics available. Also added was a DJ booth and different versus battle modes where they had goals to accomplish in order to win when your ordinary one-on-one -on -one wasn't enough. Definitely a nice addition when you want to try something new and something different. For the most part, I played with a friend online, but I can say it wasn't without any issues as the servers were flooded. It took some time to figure your own way around and many connection issues along the way just trying to play against one another. Eventually we looked at the servers that wasn't too crowded for best outcomes. Friday was probably the worst, with late Saturday and Sunday a much smoother experience. I also enjoyed watching other battles online. It fast forwards their fight if you are jumping right into the middle and forwards you to the present portion so that you can view in real time. Not a bad touch at all. The biggest con here is learning how to change your controls from modern to classic and actually have them affect the game properly. We had to customize the profile controls directly instead of normal controls in the options to have them affect when you play. Honestly, changing the normal controls in the options menu should do the trick. This was a pain as I can't stand the modern mode of controls and really affects how you play the game. Once we did change the controls and have them affect properly, we did have a lot of fun and the gameplay is fantastic. Sonic. 
Overall, my right thumb began to cramp up again as I haven't played a fighting game in some time now with a D-pad, but it was well worth it. The characters were responsive and had no troubles jumping right in. Although some hiccups along the way, this new open online hub really is different and a new direction for Street Fighter. But I have to say, in my small sample size given, I was addicted creating my avatar and excited to see what else is coming with the game's release. That's it for my brief first impressions with the online battle hub in the open beta for Street Fighter 6. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah.